<laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just, oh, the next. <laughs> Oh, this game is just pure quality. Oh. <laughs> well, hello there and welcome to the latest video. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the online um, functionality to GoldenEye 007 XBLA HD Remaster for PC. Um, now, the thing is, if you want to host games, you will need to install the emulator and the GoldenEye 007 XBLA. So please check out the guide video that I've already done on that. I will link that down below. And also, if you're hosting, please make sure that you have the 100% save file installed. I've also done a guide video for that, which is linked down below as well. Um, so the main thing to remember with this is that um, basically when you're hosting, you can have up to four people join and also... Basically, if you're joining a game, you can play on a whole host of devices, but I would recommend playing on PC with an Xbox controller. Okay, so the program you're going to want is Parsec. That's right here. Um, you just download it like so. It's completely legit. I've used this for quite a long time, um, at least six or seven months with no issues whatsoever. Um, open that up, um, and this is the Parsec um, installer for the actual um, application for your PC okay so wait for that to come up and what you'll need to do is you'll need to sign up right here if you've not got a login already so you sign up and before you can join any games you will need to verify um, with your email address that you put in here okay so just make sure you do all that I'm obviously not going to log in here you'll possibly see my password and everything but I'll get back to you in a second um, when I've done that. I will say real quick that I've also set up a Discord server um, for GoldenEye so you can find people to play online with. And next month, I hope, if there's enough people who join, I will start hosting um, live streamed GoldenEye tournaments as well. So if you are interested in that, subscribe to the channel and get yourself in that Discord server. I'm gonna link that down below. It's already set up, it's all ready to go. Okay, so here it is. The Discord server is already set up, you know, all the voice chats are there for the different sessions and everything. So I really hope you show up for that. Um, hopefully this will become the hub where people are playing GoldenEye online, on PC, with all the friends. Or meeting friends in there, it's awesome. So you just join up with that. Um, and basically, there is some rules in there. It's just basically... Um, no offensive behavior, blah, 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 and just some basic um, good sportsmanship rules. And to interact in the chats, you just hit this little thumbs up and you get a member role so you can chat with people and use all the chats. That's fair enough, right? Awesome. Okay, so let's get back to Parsec then. Okay then, so within the Parsec window, essentially I'll just explain some of the elements within here. You have your username up the top right. And to add friends, you just go to this little button here and add friend on there. And then you just type in their name and that number and then it'll come up with them. Send them a friend request and that will arrive in their friend requests box right here. And just accept. Um, an easier way to share your computer would be to literally hit share and you get a link that you can send to people. So, with it, like for example, within the Discord... Um, you could then go in into the general chat and paste in a link like so and then basically anybody who clicks on that link will then connect to you on Discord and it will come up down here with um, someone wants to connect. Click accept. The only um, control they'll have is controller inputs. Um, so I'm just trying to um, reassure you that this is um, a very safe method. What I would recommend doing first is going to settings. Um, make sure you're on Direct3D11 there. Um, go into host as well. Make sure that your um, resolution on here, um, on host, is 1080p. Yeah, 1080p. Anything more and it might look a bit pixelated. Just 1080p, make sure you've got a good internet connection if you are going to host um, yeah, you are going to need a fairly good internet connection. Set your bandwidth limit. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think mine's like 20, so I'll give it. I'll give it 20. Put it to the maximum bandwidth limit that you can upload at. Um, 
you know, just to make sure that it's looking really, really nice. Everything else is left um, absolutely fine. Just leave it as it is for the purposes of playing GoldenEye, okay? So let's get to the point where somebody tries to connect to your computer and I'll run you through that. So as you can see here, I've requested that my good friend Choo Choo um, connects to my computer and it comes up in this little box in the bottom left here. Just hit accept like that and then he is connected. He'll be able to see the screen and whatnot. Um, and then all you do is you just kind of um, to check that his controller is connected as well look you can just go into devices and printers and it'll come up that his controller is connected and then what you want to do is you want to go to your Xenia emulator once you have someone connected or multiple people connected to your computer and then run the default.xex as shown in the guide video now this is loading as if his controller is connected to my PC and is receiving a high quality low latency screen share from me so if we go to multiplayer like so i'm just going to click on that right there um, just go on local not system link or anything like that and it is just couch co-op but over the internet you see so it's picked up his controller it's just setting all that up within windows i'm just waiting for him to press the start button and as you can see he's joined the match with me even though is all the way over in Ireland. I'm in uh, in England, you know, and he can join. But this can be done with anyone in the world. I would recommend sticking with people who are close to your region relatively to reduce lag and everything like that. But it can be done with anyone anywhere. There you go. That's as simple as it is to host a game. Make sure you've got pretty good system specs to host a game. But for joining games, you don't need a particularly high you know set of system requirements or anything like that so as you can see it's all running fine smooth no lag none of that stuff it's all running very very nice and in the background here you can't hear him but Choo Choo's saying you know oh it's looking really really nice while playing online matches please try and refrain from using the um you know <laughs> within the discord server try and refrain from using the old graphics new graphics button because it's uh it's off-putting it's bad sportsmanship but anyway, <laughs> okay, right, I'll show you how to join a game as well. So let me get back to you when that's done. Okay, so as you can see, I've friended Choo Choo on there. All I do is hit connect on his computer and wait for him to accept um, my request to join him. Um, and there it is. I can see his screen right there and just advised him. I've already set up the emulator with him on his side as well. So... Um, it's just finding his um, Xenia emulator. I'm just guiding him to it right there. But that's all good. Just showing him where to go. There we go. It's just loading up the emulator. There we go. Running Xenia. Um, go into file and running the default.xex. Um, as you know, that's the way it runs as seen in the guide video. Um, there we go. Look, <laughs> it's not quite as adept as um, as I am at doing these things, but I do appreciate the help. So if you're watching this, mate, thank you very much for helping me out on this. Um, and there we go. It's going to run the Golden Eye game right there. Just wait for it to load a minute, and um, then I'm connected to his computer. And like I say, you can do this with you as the host and up to three other players. It does support four player split screen multiplayer, so you can play this over the net. And everything like that so um, I did um, when I first connected to him it was a bit pixelated but what I did was just advised him to go into his parsec settings and change the resolution down to 1080p it was actually very pixelated for me but it is what it is you can see I'm joining in there awesome stuff picking characters that's with the 100% save file that unlocks all these characters um, there's not really much else I can show you in the video. Um, if you have any issues with that, just join the Discord server. Um, I, I am going to include a help section in there. You can see it's a bit pixelated, but um, I just advised him to turn his settings down to 1080p. And I will show you what that looks like when it actually is 1080p. So one second. And yeah, that's that's what it looks like when it's running 1080p right there. So as you can see, it's running smooth little to no lag it's running really really nice it's good i like this game a lot it's you know it brings back a lot of memories a lot of nostalgia yeah there it is thank you very much for watching please subscribe to the channel um and i look forward to hosting these tournaments next month if um, enough people join you know it's going to be a lot of fun a lot of fun is going to be happening very very soon okay
All the best, everybody. Bye-bye.